Rose is one of my all-time favorite notes in perfumery. Hi everyone, I'm Joel Lima from Scented Moments channel where I help you to discover the amazing world of perfumery. So in this video, I want to talk about my top 15 rose fragrances. So these are my absolute favorite rose fragrances currently. Now I am featuring uh, 13 niche and two designers and this is a ranked video. Now this was hard to rank each fragrance because I absolutely love each fragrance here, but some fragrances have are more centered around rose and others, so that was also one of my criteria uh, to rank this video. So with that being said and without further ado, in the number 15 spot, it's from the house of Sergeov and it is Alexandria 3 absolutely gorgeous looking bottle. Now, I love Sergeoff and actually this is one of the fairly recent acquisitions. I would say I purchased this one like a couple of months ago and I, I am in love with this fragrance. This for me right now, it's the uh, my favorite interpretation of the scent DNA of the Alexandria DNA. Um, because you have the very popular Alexandria 2, you have also Alexandria Oriental, but this is currently my favorite because of the rose in it. So I love the rose. It's really a vivid um, red rose with the lavender, with a hint of cardamom, with oud, with amber, with musk. So it has that still maintains the DNA of the Alexandria 2, but I think it makes it more elegant, more round, uh, more sophisticated, and that's why I, I absolutely love this. Uh, I, the rose here is really a high quality rose, but it's just number 15 because of the other notes that are uh, in here, like the lavender with the citruses, with the cardamom, with the oud, with, I mean, with amber musk. I mean, you have a lot of things going on. This is a very complex fragrance. Amazing. It's still an amazing scent. But in terms of rose, although I love the rose note in here, but it has also a lot of things going on. So that's why today, as of this video, is my number 15 in terms of rose fragrances is Alexandria 3 from Sergeoff. Coming in number 14, and this might be a surprise to some of you who are following me for a while, um, because I mean, last year, this, this could possibly be in my top five, but it went down a bit because, I don't know, I simply am not wearing as much don't ask me why because I really love this scent and it's from House of Mathieu Premier and it is Radical Rose. Now I purchased this one actually. This was love at first sniff uh, from this brand. Uh, this is very centered around rose actually, but it's just number 14 because for some reason I'm not feeling it as much as last year, for example. Uh, so that's the only reason. So this is a very sweet, jammy rose with saffron uh, and some labdanum. So it's, but in the end, it's it's basically a very jammy rose with uh, saffron. Um, it's it's a beautiful fragrance. I love it. I think it's a very sensual scent. But again, for some reason, I'm not using it as much as I was wearing uh, previously. So that's why fall down a bit on my list, but nonetheless, it's, I think it's a great rose. It's Radical Rose by Métier Premier. Now coming in the number 13 spot, and again, might be a shock to some of you, because this is from a niche Portuguese house, Comporta Perfumes, and I love this fragrance again, but I'm not been wearing it as much as I was, for example, last year. And the fragrance is Muda, created by Luca Maffei, as you can see here in the label. Um, this is basically a very licorice -y, uh it has a sweetness in it because it also has some ambers, but it's a very licorice -y, bit coffee. I have orange also on the top with a very nice silky red rose. It's a beautiful scent. I love this so much. Mm, 
so good so good uh again, very very sexy um i love to wear this like in the summer night or uh, during the hotter days of fall i think this really shines during in between season uh, especially the transition from summer to fall i really love it i think it's my favorite time to to wear this uh, muda absolutely love this fragrance but again for some reason i'm not feeling it as much i've not been wearing it as much that's why it's uh, listed just at number 13 but nonetheless i think it's a fantastic rose scent uh, right here quite unique although i can see some resemblance between this one muda and uh, Rose de Taif from Monte Carlo, Paris Monte Carlo, uh, and actually the nose behind Rose de Taif by Paris Monte Carlo is the same that created Muda, Luca Maffei. Uh, so there is the, the type of rose that it's used, it's quite similar, but it's a high quality rose, so I'm not even uh, complaining about that. Um, so a great scent, quite unique still in my opinion. It's Muda by Comporta Perfumes, number 13. Now, coming in number 12 spot, it's a designer. It's Cartier and it is Déclaration d'un soir. What a beautiful scent this is. This is a tester bottle. Uh, that's why you can see, like, uh, it, not the notes, but a very brief description of this fragrance. Um, but I love this. This is my second bottle actually, but when I first tried this bottle, when I first purchased this bottle, it was very in the beginning of my fragrance journey, let's say, and I was not, although I still wore it quite a few times actually, but I was not feeling it back then. I think the rose was too strong for me and, uh, I was not ready. I was simply not ready for it. And, um, I don't know, some years later, I purchased this one last year, and well, uh, here we are once again, but now I completely appreciate this fragrance. That's why I have it in my collection in the first place. The Clarasson d'un Soir is basically a spicy, aromatic rose scent. It's, it's so good. It's basically take the DNA of the original Declaration, which I absolutely love, add some rose and it's simply beautiful it add some rose add a bit more lavender because this is definitely fresher than the original declaration it's it has still the spices it has still those dry woods but it's it's simply to die for it's very elegant uh, again and quite sensual in my opinion um it's a beautiful design rose designer scent probably the best I don't know if it's the best because again i have another designer here but it's in the exclusive line so in terms of mainstream uh designer releases i think this one is definitely if not the best one of the best rose designer fragrances out there it's cartier declaration d'un soir now coming in the number 11 spot it's from the house of penhaligans and it is cairo beautiful bottle presentation this is from the trades collection um root trade trade root collection i think that's the name but now i'm forgetting it um but this fragrance right here it's it was love at first sniff so this is all around rose once again but and that's why this is just in number 11. i love this and you can see how much i wore it um i purchased this one last year or a couple of years ago um maybe a couple of years ago uh maybe but this one it it was love at first sniff i already wore this a lot and i really love it but this is just number 11 because again it has a lot of things going on so you have the rose yes but you have also lots of benzoin uh lots of frankincense touch a very mild touch of uh wood accord in here and you have vanilla so you have a lot of sweet resins uh and incense so you have a lot of things going on but it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful and you know it has like um it has also saffron and it also has a touch of a um, coffee coffee accord 
which I think it's not listed as an official note, but I, I don't know. I always think of coffee every time I smell this fragrance. Go figure. But this, this is a beautiful rose scent, nonetheless. Uh, beautiful rose uh, fragrance uh, from Ben Halligan's. It's Kaido. Now we are entering the top 10, coming in the number 10 spot from the house of Atelier Cologne, and it is Rose Anonyme. I love this. Uh, this is one of my favorite fragrances from Atelier Cologne. I think I don't remember the last time I featured an Atelier Cologne scent, but this one is really amazing. Rose Anonyme. It's it's a fresh rose, so you have a lot of citruses, of course. You have ginger, so it's a fresh, spicy rose, like a green rose. They also, I mean, oud is also featured as an oud, but I mean, I can see it. It is that typical like oud accord that it's used in a lot of Western brands. Um, so I can see that type of oud in here, but um, I would say that this is more centered around the fresh green rose with some underlying dry woods. But it's beautiful. It's a beautiful perfume. Great scent, one of the best from uh, Atelier Cologne. Uh, it's, and it's very intense and probably one of the most intense or if not the most intense fragrance from Atelier Cologne. I also have, um, it's the Tube Rose, Café Tube Rosa, but I think, but that one was discontinued. That also has a nice rose note in there, but I'm not featuring it because it was discontinued. And this one has a more prominent rose note that I love. Um, so great scent right here. It's Rose Anonyme by Atelier Cologne. Coming in the number nine spot, it's from the house of Ramon Monreal and it is Flamenco. Talking about sensuality and sexiness, this is all of that and some more. So this is all around rose, like a jammy rose with a very juicy raspberry, a bit of a, a touch, a very mild touch of amber and musk. Now, I don't know what note or a chord or whatever it could be in this fragrance that it has a, a very mild touch of a metallic uh, feel, but it, it's, it's really faint and it's just for, I don't know, maybe a couple of seconds or a minute max. Um, and then you, you just have this very warm, very enveloping, sweet, jammy, raspberry, juicy raspberry rose. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, it's, it's fantastic. I absolutely love this. This was not low at first sniff because of its sweetness. And I have a sweet tooth. But just number nine spot. I mean, still in the top 10. Number nine, just because I'm... Again, I'm feeling more the other rose fragrances that I will feature. So no specific reason um, for this one. It's really just because I've been wearing a bit more and I'm being appreciating more the others that I will uh, mention. But still, this is a fantastic, sexy rose that if you didn't try, please do so. It's amazing. Coming in the number eight spot. It's a designer from an exclusive line from Tom Ford, and it is Noir de Noir. And I'm so fortunate to have a 250 ml bottle. This, I mean, I have this bottle for five, four years, maybe four years, um, four years, I think. And it was a fantastic deal back then. Um, yeah, black man. This is fantastic. Uh, this this is Noir de Noir. It's a classic from Tom Ford. And to this day, it's my top three, maybe, or top five favorite Tom Ford fragrances, period. Amazing rose note in here. But, but this fragrance is more dark. So you have uh, dark chocolate, you have rose, you have patchouli. Oh, it's to die for. I don't know if you have oud in here or not, but I, at least I don't detect it. But it's definitely about the dark chocolate with the patchouli, quite earthy patchouli and rose. This is a very sensual, very decadent uh, fragrance, perfect for date night fragrances, 
for date night fragrances, for date night situations. Um, it's a great scent. People say that nowadays this is, I mean, it's a shadow of its previous self in terms of scent, in terms of performance. I mean, they, a lot of people saying that uh, they water down this fragrance DNA. I don't know personally. I mean, I, it's been a while since I revisited Noir de Noir in stores because, I mean, I'm very fortunate to have this one. I think I will always have this in my collection. Uh, and I really do appreciate this one. Again, top three, top five best home forts ever. Now coming in the seventh spot, it's from the house of Healy and it is Rose Aria. One of the best discoveries of last year. Uh, and this is very underrated. Rose Aria is basically silky rose petals with like watery silky rose petals with musk. So th this fragrance... I mean, it has a very, it's a, it's a mind blowing transition, I would say. So imagine that you are uh, putting rose petals in over water and, and then this fragrance transitions into a very musky animalic scent, not overly animalic though. I mean, it, but it's slightly furry animalic musk. It's, it's amazing. Uh, it has also an underlying sweetness, like a sweet resinous touch uh, with musk. Fantastic fragrance uh, right here. Great rose scent. Um, I really love it. It's very unique. This is an extrait de parfum. Great performance. Um, it's a high quality scent overall. Either the rose, either the, the musk in here. And it will not break the bank. This is a 100 ml bottle size. The price tag is 170, 75 uh, euros. So I mean, it it definitely will not break the bank. So for the pr for the quality that you get, I think it, this is a, a great scent and definitely one of my favorites from this brand. And it's still the number seven spot, barely missing the top five. Um, but maybe for example, last year this could be in the number five, so in the top five at least. So, I mean, this this rank, it's, I mean, it is what it is basically. I mean, today it's, I'm ranking this these fragrances like I'm ranking now in this video, but maybe tomorrow it will be different. I mean, um, so that's, that, that's normal uh, when we love fragrances. Uh, sometimes we love uh, some fragrances and other times we love more other fragrances, but in the end, we love all of them. So number seven spot, Rose Aria by Healy. It's, it's an amazing scent, very underrated rose scent here. Coming in at number six spot, this barely missing, barely missing the top five. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a newish comer actually. It's from the house of Amouage and it is lyric woman ah this was hard this was hard because i absolutely love this fragrance now this is a tester bottle that's why you see this cap um uh, but uh, it's it's a fantastic scent why this it's not in the top five because of the jasmine so i love this again i love this scent overall i actually prefer the scent itself to Lyric Man, um, but this, the jasmine in here, I mean, it's it's very prominent, so it's a very entolic scent. Yes, you have rose, a very dark red rose, very mysterious rose with incense and resins, um, but the rose, uh, the jasmine in here, it's also very prominent and it's very endolic, has a bit of a pissiness even, uh, and although the rose, it's also there, but sometimes it's overshadowed by the jasmine. So that's why, in terms of rose itself, I would love that the rose would shine a bit more. Um, but either way, the it's still a fantastic scent overall. The rose used in here, it's a high quality rose. Def no, no doubts about that. But, and, and overall, this is a very dark scent. Uh, and I would even consider this more masculine than even Lyric Man. But, but well, 
for some reason ah uh, as of this video i'm not feeling more uh, i'm not feeling the jasmine in here uh so that's why it's just number six but still it's number six i still love it uh and i love jasmine don't get me wrong but it's just i wanted more rose basically so um as of this video it's number six but nonetheless it's a fantastic rose fragrance it's lyric woman by amorge now coming to number five spot and let's now start with the top five um and this actually and i actually i forgot to mention in the beginning of this video because i already recorded a a top 10 back then it was a top 10 rose fragrances and it was like a couple of years ago already uh, and in that video portrait of a lady by frederick mal was number one now a couple of years after it's number five still top five worthy i mean this this is a timeless rose scent in my opinion Th this is a masterpiece um and that's why for me i will always have this fragrance in my collection beautiful rose raspberry patchouli just done to perfection i love this i mean i love the rose in here i love the patchouli i mean the, the quality of the notes the blend the uniqueness this for me kind of revolutionized the rose patchouli combo and you have nowadays a lot of fragrances that are very inspired by this scent you know? uh some more sweeter some others not that much but uh, you see quite a few uh, fragrances that have uh that are inspired by this scent you know? i still love this again this is a fantastic scent portrait of a lady don't get fooled by the name because this again this lean a bit more masculine in my opinion but either way a uh, man or woman can pull this one off easily of course uh, just like any other fragrances that i already mentioned and that i will still mention after this one a masterpiece portrait of a lady by frederick mal number five spot coming in number four spot and this is another fragrance that i will always have in my collection it's from the house of andy tower and it is un rose de kandahar love at first sniff i bought this one like three no four five even years ago maybe maybe four years ago um fion rose kandahar tobacco tobacco leaves amber the most beautiful red rose cinnamon vanilla oh, just to create a gourmand dish very realistic red rose with tobacco leaves oh, a very unique concoction any tower i mean another masterpiece this is uh my second favorite or my third favorite uh maybe my second favorite i would say after uh l'air de deuxième marocain it's fion rose kandahar i mean seriously one of the best rose fragrances ever in my opinion and top five worthy hands down again fion rose de kandahar by andy tower now coming in the number three spot again from amouage and it is lyric man now in terms of rose lyric man the the rose note in lyric man is more prominent i would say this is much more centered around rose very different from lyric mo uh, lyric woman this is a fresh citrusy rose now it's a very realistic red rose in my opinion oh it's so good this in in the end it all started here i learned to appreciate rose fragrances th thanks to lyric man and lyric man was actually my first amouage so there there's a lot of sentimental reasons um that that explain why this is number three and also because again in terms of rose comparing it with lyric woman the rose here it's more prominent i would say uh I I slightly prefer Lyric Woman as a scent itself because I prefer in general more darker, uh, more dark fragrances. 
um, but in terms of fresh rose I mean it's hard to beat very very hard to beat lyric man uh, for me already a classic and if you want to discover rose fragrances if you want to dive into rose fragrances just start with this one lyric man, lyric man by Amouage coming in the number two spot again from Amouage I mean Amouage has I mean three amazing rose fragrances and that's very hard to pull off uh, let's start with that but Amouage has really three fantastic rose fragrances this one is from the library collection and it is Rose Incense. Oh man, th this is beautiful. This, as the name implies, Rose and Incense. Oh. So this is, of course, dark, a, a bit slightly darker. It's slightly darker than Lyric Man, of course. More playful, brighter than Lyric Woman. So this doesn't has any it doesn't have any uh, jasmine but this what this has is a very a sweet jammy rose with lots of red like myrrh uh frankincense lamdanum and it creates really a cozy but at the same time playful and sensual um, rose scent a very unique rose uh, fragrance in my opinion a high quality rose uh, note in here no doubts about that again and th this is a a fragrance that a rose fragrance that only a wash could create it's rose incense by in, uh, from the library collection I mean it's really it's currently my favorite rose as you can see my current favorite rose fragrance from Amouage um, and it's one of their best scents in my uh, also in my opinion at least as of this video maybe tomorrow my opinion might change but at least as of this video this is my favorite rose from Amouage uh, I just love the blend of the incense and the the sweet resins it's just fantastic very addicting it's rose incense by Amouage. And now my favorite rose fragrance. And I dare to say this is currently the best rose fragrance in the market. Um, and this is a newcomer to my collection, a very recent newcomer. And it's from the house of Les Indemodables and it is Rose de Jamal. This fragrance, the rose in here is a natural smelling rose. I mean, it's breathtakingly amazing uh, how natural it smells. Oh. It's basically a fresh, very realistic red rose. Very realistic, but it's also very green because you have here's a geranium, you have um, a mint, and I think think you might have a touch of galbanum because this in the end it's a green fresh red rose that it's just to die for absolutely fantastic rose in here um i love it Th this you can see at least to my nose I, I can see a bit of lyric man in here but the, it's it's like a lyric man less citrusy more minty more green um and i dare to say that the rose in here it's slightly better than in a lyric man yeah it's it's slightly 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 better oh, it's beautiful it's the most beautiful rose net, uh, fragrance that I put my nose on. I absolutely love this fragrance. I, this house, I mean, I'm I'm really in love by with this house. I mean, I don't love all of their fragrances. There are some that simply do not work for me at all. But but in general, I really do like this fragrance house. I mean, it's a high quality uh, house. I mean, they their fragrances um, 
they smell natural they come across as a high quality fragrances might not be the most groundbreaking fragrance house i mean with the most groundbreaking fragrances or most daring fragrances but what they do is of quality and i mean that for me it's enough <laughs> actually it doesn't necessarily you don't need to be groundbreaking i mean if if you are even better but what it matters is in the end the quality that you put in in the fragrances and this house is really amazing in that uh, regard so Kos Jamal, amazing fragrance here, my number one, uh, at least to this day. Kos Jamal is my favorite, my number one rose uh, fragrance. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments down below, what is your favorite rose fragrance? And also tell me what other rose fragrances should I explore? I would love to hear your suggestions and see you in the next video. Take care, guys.